Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Cart Ray and in this video I'm going to be reviewing House of Cards Season 4 Episode 11. Now, I just watched the episode and I enjoyed it. It was good. It wasn't as good as last week's, I mean, not last week's, the last episode, um, episode 10. But um, yeah, there was a lot of plot threads that moved forward, especially... Um, I don't want to say it yet because that is the spoiler section but a lot of things happened um, it wasn't as epic as the, the episode before but I do think that the next episodes are going to have a lot of interesting things to come so I guess it's just a stepping stone to, to like the latter end of the season there's only two episodes left so I don't have a clue what they're going to do but it seems like there's going to be a season 5 because I don't think everything's going to wrap up at the end of season 4 which is, I don't know if I'm happy or disappointed because I guess I want more House of Cards, but I do want to see the story wrapped up at the same time. So I don't know, but yeah, it was all right episode. We might as well get into those spoiler parts and we'll start talking about the big plot points. Also, um, instead of leaving my predictions to the end of the video, I'm going to start doing them after the specific plot points and then asking the question there. So let's do this the first major plot point is conway and ico versus frank so in the beginning of the episode doctors tell frank to reduce his air travel to once a week because um i think the planes might force his liver to what's the word might force his body to reject the, the liver so Instead of campaigning with Claire, Frank decides to stamp out Ico in order to show strength. His airstrikes have slowed them down but not stopped them, so he considers sending in special ops um, soldiers on the ground. Frank plans to get Petrov to send in Russian special forces in return for Petrov to get some of his drilling zones back, but General Brockhart tells Conway about Frank, Frank's plan to eliminate Ico. Conway tells him that he needs to prevent it in order for him to win, and Brockhart is displeased, so Brockhart's not, not happy with Conway. That might cause some, some friction for the future, but... He does do what, what Conway says, so maybe not. Conway um, tells him to talk to Dreyer and or Dreyer or whatever his name is and get the Republicans to disapprove Russia's involvement. Frank finds out. Frank then decides to send American troops instead. So this could go either way. Um, like the, If American troops get injured, then it's going to be very bad publicly for Frank to deal with it. Um, but I guess... He might be able to finesse the situation and say that Conway made this happen because he was going to send in fr like Russian troops. But we... I, I don't know. And then also, Doug warns Frank that if someone is leaking national security information to Conway, that person may also be able to find out about their domestic surveillance and send that to Conway also. So Doug tells him that the safest thing to do would be to end the surveillance. And due to this... Doug and Frank meet with McAllen and McAllen tells them not to shut the surveillance down because basically it's working. And my question is, is someone going to find out about the surveillance? And you know what? I don't know, you know. I don't know. It's just real. It'll probably happen like at the end of the season or something if it does happen. But I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, let me just say yes. Let me go with yes. Yes, they're going to find out about the surveillance because it's probably going to happen. Otherwise, they wouldn't be discussing it so much. The next big plot point is Claire and Tom Hayes. Basically, Claire and Tom fly out on the campaign trail. They have sex again. And then Tom leaves and Claire tells Frank that Tom leaves. And then Frank meets with Tom. And he seems very cool about the affair. He's very straightforward with it. And then he tells Claire that Tom should stay because he can give Claire things that he can't. And then at the end of the episode, they all sit down and eat breakfast together. So I guess they're all happy. Um, I, I don't really give a shit in it. Like they can do whatever they want. It's happy days if they're all happy. But my question is, will someone find, about, find out about Claire's affair? Because if that comes out, then that will be a PR disaster because I don't really think... I don't know, not unless they're like real upfront and honest about the fact that like they're a non-monogamous um, relationship, but I, that would still lose them votes, I, I, I'm sure. So I don't know, but I think, will someone find out about Claire's affair? You know, what? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, because it didn't really, it didn't really seem like this was a big plot point to the point that it was going to like 
change the, the the election or anything so i'm gonna say that that's that's probably not gonna happen but i just thought i had to touch on this situation because now they're all cool together and that might be um it might come into play in later episodes i don't know uh the third plot point is doug basically doug gets a voicemail from anthony anthony moretti's wife that's the guy that he pushed down on the transplant list in order to get frank his liver transplant um law yeah his wife's name is laura moretti and basically he gets a voicemail because he donated to the memorial the memorial fund i told you already in the last episode what a fucking dumb thing to do and then she invites him out for coffee and he meets her and he asks for like for her to tell him more about her husband he's a really creepy like stalkerish guy doug you know like he's he's he needs help like he really does need help and i think he's gonna do something that's gonna fuck up frank's plans in some way and my question is will doug confess to her that it's his fault that her husband died and i think yes doug is definitely gonna do that he seems like the type of guy that's gonna do that because he does make dumb decisions here and there so i think that's exactly what he's gonna do and then the last plot point and maybe even the biggest plot point of the episode or well, the biggest plot point of the season i think personally is lucas's old boss i've now found out his name his name's tom not to be confused with tom hayes i forgot what this guy's second name is but it doesn't matter we'll just call him lucas's boss tom basically tom visits remy danton and remy finds out that tom knows that frank met with lanagan and lied about the money laundering he also tells remy that he knows Edward Meacham doctor travel records and Remy tells him not to ignore where which I really didn't understand but um it was like a kind of clue so it seems like Remy knows what this guy knows so if he does turn on this guy and report back to the Underwoods that would be really interesting but it, it seems as though Remy is gonna you know not side with the Underwoods well he does hate them so it wouldn't make sense for him to do such a thing Lucas's old boss Tom talks to Freddy and Freddy then beats him up and tells him to leave him alone if you don't remember Freddy Freddy was in seasons one and two pardon me he owned some he owned a restaurant that Frank used to go and eat at and then like shit happened and the shop got shut down but Freddy was still working for Frank in the White House and in this episode Frank met with Freddy and then Fra Freddy told Frank that he's leaving and then they had an argument and it didn't end very well. And now it seems like all the people that Frank really likes is leaving. So it seems like, I don't know. I don't know. He's trying to keep the people that he can actually be comfortable around still around. So, and, and we haven't seen Freddy in ages. I, to be honest, I forgot that he worked at the White House. I didn't even remember that. And then after that. Remy plays Never Have I Ever with Tom. If you don't know what the game is, just Google it, Never Have I Ever. And Remy confirms that Frank lied on an oath, confirms that he made a deal with Raymond Tusk, and confirms that he conspired to get Walker impeached, which is a bit mad. And then Tom goes to the newspaper he used to work at in order to gain support for his story. He recruits a team of people to work on the story. And my question is, will someone from the team leak the story? Because I basically think someone definitely will. Like, he brought too many people on board, on board and I don't know. And when there's so many people involved in something like this and you know how Doug and them man move, like there's just bare people like to connect with and all this sort of shit. So I'm thinking that they'll probably leak the story and I'll get back to the White House somehow. And yeah, please leave your predictions in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And yeah, that was my review. I'll see you guys in the next review. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you